Living today is feeling awfully sunny. I have Kelly Polanski from Sunny Social Network, and we are sitting in the Blarney, ready to go out to some patios and feeling awfully springish, aren't we? Right, and Natalie, we are so excited that Living Today has decided to join us this week um, for our All Things Sunny campaign. And one way we like to like, you know, we've had this big winter this year. Oh. I mean, snow so much, it's dragged on so much. It's time to just call out to the sun, you know, fake it till you make it. Absolutely. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit up the patios, right? So Absolutely. we're here with Toledo Blarney Irish Pub owner, Ed Bizinski. And Ed, you have got one of the hot spots patios around here. Mud Hens is here, right next door. I mean, so close that if you're out on the patio, sometimes you actually get oh, yeah. hit by a foul ball. <laughs> I, that sounds like a fun thing to do. Then can we take it back? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get it signed, right? right? You might need to bring your mitt to the patio. I think it sounds like a good idea. So Ed, now the baseball season's here. Let's talk about some different things that you're gonna be doing with the patio. Eight years ago when we opened up the Blarney, I opened up the Blarney, um, it had a small patio and I had a vision of a large patio, just people out there just having a lot of fun. Um, I had to go to the city and before council and ask them, can I have part of your sidewalk? So we doubled our patio and then I bought the building behind us and then we even doubled our patio again. So patios are huge for me. I love going anywhere and you can sit outside, have a drink, have a burger or whatever. Uh, but I do love patios as well. I think it's the first thing that we think about when it gets just even to 50 degrees. We're like, oh, the first thing you want to go do it's is... It's a heat wave. Have, it is. Yeah, it's yeah. a heat, <laughs> heat wave in Northwest Ohio. Let's go have a drink on a patio. And I love it. And I love that you have a little fire pit, too. We have a fire pit as well. When it, at nighttime, when it gets a little cool, yeah. everybody just swarms that patio yeah. around the fire pit. All, all the great parties happen here. You, you know, it's... It, Fantastic. You just had a great St. Patrick's Day. You know, I started working here when they first opened up. And I remember when the place was just like being built. I mean, there was rafters in here and flooring being put down, but there was something about it where I just knew this was going to be a landmark of Toledo. And a lot of people told you that it would be a bad move to even build down here. They did. I mean, I have other Eddie B's and Fakashas um, at the time and people were like, are you out of your mind building on that corner? Because yeah. this wasn't the hot corner. The hot corner was back by the Dirty Bird and mm -hmm. everything was back there, Frickers. So this corner, there was nothing going on. There was no arena over there, but I loved the building. Just like Kelly said, walked in the building and just fell in love with it and was looking for an older building um, to recreate an Irish pub you'd find back in Ireland. And then went back to Ireland yes. and bought all the furniture yeah. and brought all the tables and chairs and everything back here and tried to recreate um, that Irish feel. And I totally remember a time when this place was packed and we had this band here um, that was doing Irish music and this place was packed and a guy came back and he goes, this place is so awesome. He goes, not only do I not feel like I'm in Toledo, but I don't even feel like I'm in America. Yep. I mean, I, I do remember him that saying that. Like, yes, yeah. and that was, our first, that was your first year. So yeah. I mean, this place has really grown into the hot spot to go. Every time you come here, it's packed. I mean, it's always a wonderful feeling coming in here. You see people you know, you meet new friends. You and that's what I truly wanted to create. Yeah. When yeah. I was in Ireland, it was the same thing, going around to the different pubs. I was there for one Guinness. Before you know it, I'm hugging and saying goodbye yeah. to people like I've known them forever. So we that's really wanted to create feeling. that here, too. Yeah. And I feel like that's what you're trying to create with Honey Social. Yeah, so absolutely. So it's a great partnership, exactly. right? Exactly. Well, I really want to go check out the patio. How about you? Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go check it out. So now we're on the patio. We're having a Guinness. And you are going to tell us about a perfect pour. Well, nine years ago when I went over to Ireland to do a little history on Irish pubs, um, I was in one pub and they said, have you ever poured a pint? And I'm like, no. And they're like, come back here. You've got to learn how to pour a correct Guinness. So learned over there and uh, brought it back to Toledo. And you just taught Travis last week, right? My son Travis uh, is out of school. He's back here, eventually uh, going to take over the business and said to him, you know what? It's time to learn how to pour a perfect pint. That's great. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, let's cheers to Natalie's birthday and a great season for all of us. Cheers. Cheers. cheers.